whenever somebody says be detached i feel there is a certain fear of life because things didn't work out your desires didn't work out now you say i am going to be detached then it will work out you know mostly it is an escape there are three words attachment detachment and beyond attachment you enjoy something and you get attached with something and if it doesn't work out or it gives you pain then you look for vairagya the detachment but there is a vitrag it means beyond attachment beyond attachment is most intimate person with life achutam keshavam ram narayanam krishna damodaram Yeah. Awesome. One more question I have for you, Sir Ji. Mm. You know, a lot is said in spiritual circles about dispassion, detachment, this kind of very neutral, almost sterile kind of approach to things. Mm. I wanted to ask what your view on it is because I think what drew me towards you and many other people as well is that you seem to be somebody who speaks about. this higher dimensions of life but there is room in your approach for this kind of passion this sort of approach where you're almost making love to life you know so what what is your view how do you look at these concepts of detachment and dispassion you know whenever these theories are talked about whenever somebody says be detached i feel there is a certain fear of life because things didn't work out your desires didn't work out now you say i am going to be detached then it will work out you know mostly it is an escape like there are three words attachment detachment and beyond attachment no attachment is i explained then you you enjoy something and you get attached with something and if it doesn't work out or it gives you pain then you look for vairagya the detachment but there is a vitrag which is my name also from osho it means beyond attachment there actually beyond attachment is most intimate person with life is like water because intimacy is beyond attachment and detachment you are the situation you see in attachment or detachment you are going for somebody opposite either getting one with them or trying to go away from them but in intimacy it contains both and yet none of the both so getting detached from life is somewhere more about getting detached from your ideas about life you cannot get detached from life things will if you become meditative don't think you have get detached you will experience and people much more deeply but you are not you are just reflecting that you are not saying like a movie camera or film camera everything is making a permanent impression you just reflect a situation or a person you see this is what i mean that a mirror is intimate with you it becomes you but as soon as you disappear it is free of you again so this is a statement a, a state within you which is neither attached not detached but it is beyond any kind of that it just reflects the situation and because of this philosophy of detachment and vairagya most of the people are missing out on their life they don't really experience life they start to fill the ideas and philosophy i have to be detached so neither they get detached because most of the people who have left things in their detachment they are haunted by their thoughts they are constantly living those things in their dreams physically they have left them most of the people who have taken vows of celibacy they are haunted by sex all the time it is like this there is a story that one guy realizes that there is one guru who can tell you a mantra which will be make every wish fulfilled and so wow i want to go to that guru he finds him reaches to him and the guru tells him the mantra he said wow that is amazing and when he is leaving after learning the mantra he told him that but just make sure while you're chanting the mantra you shouldn't see any monkey in your head so that is it now this guy as soon as he goes out he sees only monkeys in his head so he said you shouldn't have told me because now whenever i see monkeys pop up so whenever you try to resist something it becomes more important than you and it starts to haunt you trag or state of intimacy is everything you welcome you say stay as long as you want i have no problem 
because of that you become a sky in which those stars are rolling those clouds are moving but when you start to fight a cloud which is in the so called idea of detachment and attachment you start to fight you have become smaller than that crowd but when you say so this is the path of water in a way like yogic path is going beyond and beyond but how they are translating it today is more like uh, you fight with it and get out actually real state of meditation is you don't fight because you know you are a sky you are just reflecting you welcome and if a suffering comes you say welcome you can live with me as long as you want i have no problem with you with that it starts to become part of your energy this is the water method in tai chi this is how you become powerful by not resisting anything you welcome everything the power inherent in those attachments and angers becomes your power because essentially it's all your power each thought is your power each emotion is your power you fight with it you become dual and that duality is killing you you are saying anger is something other than you know it is your energy your projection which has become anger and once you see it's me you don't fight you say ah it's my body it's fine i have hand they are moving let them move and with that non fighting attitude you become aware that it is there and that is what like in vigyan bhairav tantra shiva says that one technique include everything for example fire method is exclude everything and become pure out there but in this is water method include everything contain everything this is more feminine way because most of the women fire method will not work with them women are more water oriented personality when they start to include that's why they can handle big families they don't say i like this son and this one is bad one she contains all the sons into one and that containing manages not taking each of them telling them rules that containment manages because you become make them part of one energy so ruling party is that one energy which containing you not one person who is fighting with the five or 10 or whatever you understand my point and this is very important to understand with your thoughts with your chaos you say welcome be a, i am just aware of you you are playing with me my confusion my anxiety just be with me and relax with it and welcome it and let it be part of you you slowly it starts to energize you all your energy which was going out to be detached or to be not attached and all that it becomes your energy make sense